Hello guys, welcome to faces back to another Simple Planes video. Today we've got an experimental video because I've like updated the 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 the, 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 the quality. The, 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 the quality. Uh, yeah, I've updated the quality of the recording so hopefully it looks a little bit nicer. However, I've picked the wrong thing to actually show you guys because this thing gives me no FPS. Even on my new PC, so there you go. Um, nothing moves on it, I don't think. I don't think we've got anything other than the lift that moves. Uh, none of the planes move. What is that? Are those... What are those? What is that? They've got, like, proper planes up here, and then they put these on there? Okay, they're like... They're like... Mock... Mock planes. Yeah. Okay. They could have probably put one of those sideways. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah. We're, we're gonna look at this today. We're gonna look at a few other things today. Maybe some trains, uh, by Fino. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so obviously at the minute we are in the aircraft carrier and it is called the CN-71. No, wait, the CVN-71 and it was built by Gunkenmarch. Gunkenmarch. Uh, that's his name. So, yeah, none of these parts move um, except from, and uh, there is a big except from, uh, if I press 7 and VTOL something, hold on, let's have a little look at this. If I press 7, oh, look at that, the lift comes up, that's pretty cool. I like that, that's a nice little feature right there, that's pretty good. And if I press 8, we can actually turn. We can, can, can we? How do we turn? Are we turning? What's your? I can't even remember in this game. Uh, your is, your is E, presumably, I think, question mark. I can't remember. I honestly have no idea. Are we turning? I don't know whether we're turning or not. Um, but that should turn us if I press 8. Or maybe we need that one. Ye oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that definitely turns us. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Cool. Alrighty, so yeah, that's pretty much it on this thing. There is anti-aircraft guns. It is extremely detailed. It looks amazing. I don't know whether it would be easy to land a plane on in multiplayer or not. I'm really not sure. Uh, the bridge looks absolutely fantastic. That bridge looks amazing right there. Uh, I think these are like anti-aircraft guns. I'm not entirely sure. We've got more of these things, which I'm not entirely sure what these are. I, I honestly don't know. I think they should be these, but they, they turned into these instead. I, I really don't know. Uh, but we got anti-aircraft guns around it. I don't know what this flag's for. No idea. Um, that plane is obviously a propeller. Oh, that looks cool. That does look quite cool. And, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this thing. I don't think we can drive it around that, that well. So we'll switch into something else and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Alrighty, so uh, this is Fino's little trainer Rooney right here. It is a C666 Advanced. And um, I've got a few issues with it because... There's only one, one mod showing on the web page, okay? So I can't download some of the mods, and I believe it's taken away my doors. Yeah, I think that's one of the problems. I've not actually checked if it goes forwards yet, but it doesn't look stable. It doesn't look like it's gonna be very good. Right, anyway, let's just go for it. Let's just go ahead and power ourselves up and start moving forwards. Wait, how do we move forwards? I don't, I don't know what the buttons are. I have no idea. One, to go forwards, two to reverse. Oh, wow, look at that, we're moving. That's pretty... That is really cool, actually. That is really, really cool. Uh, what else can we do? Do not go above 80 miles an hour and start braking if the bogeys start bouncing. All right, what's braking? Is that just S? How do I brake? I don't know how to brake. We're going 100 miles an hour and I can't brake. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We need the Lord. Oh, no, we're good. No, wait. No. How do I brake? I don't know how... Oh, do we just do this? Oh, that's braking. Yeah, my bad. I completely forgot that that was breaking. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's try this again, shall we? So we're gonna go full power. Wait, if I just start going backwards? Our back end is not on here. Hold on, restart. So one thing that I don't really know about this map is how I get onto the other rails. Now, how do I get over here? Um, do I just go to like locations and do like, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> That's how we do it. Okay, that makes sense. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and try and go forward. So we'll go ahead and power up. We'll go ahead and press one and we should start moving. Yeah! Alright, cool, we're fully powered. Great! And the bogeys actually work. Oh, kind of. The bogeys kind of work. That's amazing! Alright, cool, we're going. We're driving. Uh-oh. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's very close to working, isn't it? It is very close. They're just sort of a little bit sideways on the front. But maybe that's, maybe that's how it's supposed to work. I don't know. Let's just go full power and we'll see what happens. Yeah, man, this thing does look good, though. Wait, are they going back in? Oh! <gasps> Oh, I thought they were fixing them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You need Jesus. 
No, okay, no, that's not working. That's not, we should try it again, though. We should definitely try it again. You know, one thing that I forgot to mention about this is that it is super shiny. Like, it is so shiny, it is unbelievable. We've also got Intercity on the side, and then we got this on the other side. We've got APT Reichbahn. Reichbahn! Uh, which is, I guess, German. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds very German. So, yeah, we're going to try it again. And this time, we're going to do it from the inside. Oh, wow. So, you got to know that there's probably instruments in here that I'm missing because I don't have the mods. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have the mods, but I, I had to give it a go. You know, it's a pretty cool train. So, let's go ahead and go forwards. We'll go ahead and press 1. Oh, wow, look at that. They both work. That's pretty cool. That's the throttle. That's the, I guess, reverser. I don't know. Oh, are we coming off again? No, are we okay? Hold on, let me have a look at the outside. How do I get outside? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we need Jesus. This isn't going too well. This is not going too well at all. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. We'll try it one more time. Okay? I really don't know how slow we need to be going when we go around corners. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have probably a little bit of an issue again. However, let's go, like, very slowly. Oh, yeah. Did I press 1 or 2? I pressed 1 and we're going backwards. Hold on. Give it a little bit more oomph. There we go. We got a little bit more oomph. And we are going four miles an hour. This should allow me to go around the corner without absolutely destroying my bogeys again. However, I could be wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are going around. Yeah, we're totally going around the corner. The bogeys are working. You just have to be going, like, really slow. And when I say really slow, I mean, like, 10 miles an hour, which is very slow. For a train, at least. All right, here we go. We're going to go a little bit faster now. So it says, don't go above, don't go above 80. Hmm. Okay, now, I'm not very good at staying to the speed limit, uh, but I'll try and not go above 80. Oh, Jesus, I need to start braking. We need some brakes, because we're coming to another corner, and I don't want to fall off it. I do actually want to get around this track, although I don't know where it goes. I have no idea where this leads to. Is it big? Maybe it's a big area, but, but maybe, maybe it's a really tiny area. All right, cool. So we know like going around at like 10 miles an hour is good. So we'll try and slow ourselves down to 10. And we should be good to go around the corner. Yes. Is there a way of me raising these, by the way? Three pantographs. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, and wait, hold on. Oh, the, we do actually have doors. We do actually have doors. They just automatically open. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Okay, we're going around the corner very slowly. Incredibly slowly, in fact. All righty, good. Good, good, good. Oh, it's going a little bit bumpy here, but that's okay. And as soon as we're around the corner, we're going to floor it. We're going to see how fast we can go. All right. Go, go, go. Yeah, so we came off at 100 last time. Um, but Fino says that we'll come off earlier um, at apparently about 80 miles an hour. So how about we stop at 80 and we'll have a little look and see what's up here. Because I don't know. I honestly have no idea. There we go. We're just going to slide all the way down. Awesome. Wait, have we got another camera in the back? Yeah, we do. This is the back camera. That's amazing. That's actually really cool. That's cool. I like it. I do like it. Okay, so we've been going for a little bit now. And if I zoom out, we can actually see the end of the track. And we don't make it all the way there. In fact, I think the track stops there. So either we go backwards. In fact, yeah, let's, let's just try it backwards. What happens if I do this? All right, here we go. Throttle up. Here we go. Oh, look at the speed drop amazingly well. Okay, we should start going that direction very shortly. Are we moving? Yeah, we're going backwards now, I think. I don't know. It's very hard to tell where we're moving or if we're moving because the... Yeah, we're definitely going We're definitely going this way at a very, very high speed. We're going 80 miles an hour. Here we go. 80 miles an hour. We're going to go into the turn at this speed and we'll see if we come off the rails, which we probably will. Because 80 is its limit, apparently. So, yeah, there you go. Um, but do I like it? I do like it. I think it's really cool. We do have lights on this thing, but I think they're automatically on. Are they automatically on? Maybe they're not. Four? Five? Six? Seven? Maybe they're not on at all. I don't I don't really know. Maybe the other ones are on? Well, then let's have a look on the other side. Uh, yeah, these ones are on a little bit. Oh, our bogeys have already came off. Damn it! Oh, because we're going 90. Yeah, my bad. We're going way too fast for this thing. Uh, so, if you guys try this thing out... Make sure to not go this fast. Also, can we get on this track as well? Is that a possibility? And it looks like there's something over there as well. Hmm. I'm very... Oh, oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've had an accident. Both of our bits are facing the same direction now. Holy Jesus. All right, nice. 
Nice one. Oh, right. Okay, so this one's the high speed rail. That kind of makes sense. However, oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay, bam. So the lights turn on which, whichever direction you're going. That's how the lights turn on and work. Um, I pressed one, so hopefully we should start going forwards. However, it doesn't seem to be a thing at the minute. I've, oh, has my game crashed? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think it did for a little bit there. Um, kind of feel like my wheels are not touching the ground. They are definitely not touching the ground because the fuel tanks are too big. So, there we go. We can't do the high speed rail. Uh, but other than that, it is an amazing looking thingamabobby. So, if you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below as well as the aircraft carrier. Yeah. Alrighty, boys. I thought I'd go ahead and get a plane out. And this was built by a rail fan, Ethan. And it's called the White Tiger. Now, this was built... A million years ago, and in fact, it was actually built eight months ago, which is insane. Um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to take off from here and fly that direction and see what's actually up over there. Because, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what's over there. I kind of felt like this thing would be able to take off in this short distance. However, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it will. But we'll give it a go and we'll see if we can take off instantly. Here we go. We'll probably need flaps for it. Yep. Okay. And three, two, one, lift off. And pull to the side. Yeah. Oh, oh, we did it. We did it. Nice. So as you guys can see, it's actually got two bombs on it. I did think there were torpedoes to begin with uh, because torpedoes would have been actually kind of cool. Uh, however, he's went with bombs, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but there you go. All right, cool. Let's fly this direction. You can just sort of see something on the on the horizon over there. Yeah, that's the word. Horizon. Um, so yeah, we'll have a little look over there. And we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Wait, I think it's got has it got countermeasures? It's got countermeasures on it. Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't thinking that would be a thing at all, but there you go. Um, also, I wasn't expecting there to be islands over here. Actually, I thought it was going to be like a mirage, but no, there is something over there, and I don't know what it is. Are we on like the normal map? We must be on the normal map, right? We're just a rectangle in the ocean, so we might be able to find our way back to civilization. I don't really know, uh, but what I'm thinking is we fly all the way over here. We drop our bombs, and we'll see how that goes. Also, I was kind of feeling like we should try and get the aircraft carrier into multiplayer, although it's already really laggy, and try and land on it. If you guys know how I can get that into actual, like into the game, to actually try and land on it, then let me know um, in single player. I don't know if that's possible. It, it maybe is, though. Uh, but yeah, look at it. Look at this thing. It's amazing. It's ama Wait, we have guns as well. We actually have guns. Oh, and they're multicolored, of course. Wow, okay. We are getting very close to this island. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so we're getting very close now. There looks to be a shipwreck. Oh wait, no. Is that the fleet? That's the fleet. There's a bunch of ships. That's all it is. It's a load of ships. Okay, well, they're on the train map in case you guys were wondering. If you just fly south, you'll come across all of these dudes. And um, yeah, it's actually the, uh, the fleet, which is insane. I don't know why they're out here. That's crazy. That is very crazy. Anyway, we're going to try and drop bombs on the carriers. Or, in fact, maybe we should try and land on the carrier instead of blowing it up. Uh, but no. No, blowing it up does sound like a, a much more exciting thing to do. So, let's try and blow up these thingamabobbies. We do actually have countermeasures, so we might be able to get away. However, we are very, 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 very slow. So, maybe that's never going to happen. I don't know. But how far away do we have to release these bombs? Like, we should have some sort of... Um, I don't know, some sort of sight on this thing so we can actually, like, scope in and drop them whenever they're in the middle, but no, we don't. Alright, three, two, one, dropping one bomb, and three, two, one, drop, drop, oh, Jesus, I just knocked that one down into it. Holy Jesus. Okay, we hit both of them, but the, ah, ah, oh, uh-oh, oh, yeah, well, we all knew that was going to happen, right? We all knew that was going to happen. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to check out any of the builds in this video, let me know in the comments down below. Although, actually, they will be linked in the description, so you don't have to let me know. Um, but, yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool builds. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.